First of all, I want to thank you very much for the number of 100,000 subscribers. That makes me happy and means a lot to me and motivates me to keep doing what I love. Thank you again. Cape Buffalo versus Indian Gower. Who would win a fight between these two solid animals? These species generally don't meet one another, so getting them to fight would be challenging. If you put them together, chances are that they will end up as friends and form a herd together. The Cape Buffalo, also known as the African Buffalo, is a bovine species from Africa that are known for their massive body and unpredictably aggressive and revengeful demeanor, and hence widely considered as a very dangerous animal. This is also the reason why man has never tried to domesticate these animals. India is proud to be the sole home to the Indian bison of Gawa, which is the largest and the tallest in the family of wild cattle, even bigger than water buffalo and bison. Since 1986, the Indian bison was listed as vulnerable because of the declining population. Nowadays, this animal is kept well protected in some of the famous national parks. Size and Description The Cape Buffalo is not very tall. It stands only 51 to 59 inches, 130 to 150 centimeters tall, and has relatively short legs. But it is massive, weighing 935 to 1,910 pounds, 425 to 870 kilograms. Bulls are about 220 pounds, 100 kilograms, heavier than cows, and their horns are thicker and usually wider, up to 40 inches, 100 centimeters across. With a broad shield, only fully developed at seven years, covering the forehead. The coat is thin and black, except in young calves whose coats may be either black or brown. The Indian bison is a massively built animal and is very strong. They have a convex shape in the forehead. The limbs are very strong and sturdy. The adult male weighs around 1300 to 3300 pounds, 600 to 1500 kilograms. The Indian gaur is about 7.9 to 11 feet, 2.4 to 3.4 meters in length, with the sole tail length of about 27 to 41 inches, 70 to 105 centimeters. Their height is about 5.5 to 7.5 feet. 1.7 to 2.3 meters. They have a prominent ridge running along their back. The back has very sparsely distributed hair. They have a typically short tail, shorter than an oxen also. Both the males and females possess horns. The horns are pale green or yellowish brown in color and are not pointed upward, but possess a slightly inward curvature. The newly born bison is light golden yellow in color, which later changes to light brown and then to reddish brown. Range and Habitat Cape buffaloes are well distributed in South Africa and are also found in the rainforests of Central and West Africa. Cape buffaloes are the largest subspecies to be found in Southern and East Africa. They are largely seen in countries like Guinea, Ethiopia, Togo, Uganda, Somalia, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. They thrive in virtually all types of grassland habitat, from dry savanna to swamp, and from lowland floodplains to mixed forest. They prefer habitat with a dense cover like reeds and thickets. These buffaloes need water daily and thus depend on perennial sources for water. The Indian bison is very much prevalent in the western Ghats. They prefer evergreen forests and moist deciduous forests. However, they can survive in dry deciduous forests also. They are not found in the Himalayas, 
with an altitude greater than 6,000 feet, 1,800 meters. They generally stick to the foothills only. They are attracted to grounds which are impregnated with salts and minerals. Diet. Buffalo herds have an ecological impact on the veld. Known for being a bulk grazer, they can convert long grasslands into short, grassy environments. These buffaloes are capable of living on tall and coarse grasses. When feeding, they make use of their tongue and wide incisor row to eat grass more quickly. If the grass is not available, buffaloes browse for woody vegetation. The Indian gaur is a grazing animal and loves to munch on leaves, fruits, stems, flowers and seeds. They generally feed in the early morning and in the late evenings. The elephant apple, Indian boxwood, East Indian screw tree, golden shower tree, cashew plant are some of the favorites of the gaur. Sometimes during shortages of food, they complete their nutrition and minerals by debarking trees. They dig up teak bark, which is high in calcium and potassium. Behavior African buffaloes are gregarious creatures that lead a highly social life and live in large herds that can have members up to over 1,000. Generally, there can be two types of herds, a large one with members from both the sexes and all ages, known as a breeding herd, and a second type, which is a small all-male herd called the bachelor herd. Herds are usually smaller in regions with denser vegetation. Male members can be aggressive towards each other at times, and when two males engage in serious fights, which is rare, it can even end up in the death of either or both the fighters. African buffaloes can be a dangerous animal for humans, while even the early trophy hunters considered these beasts as one of the most dangerous species to hunt in the forests of Africa. Herds of Indian bison typically contain 8 to 11 individuals, but can reach 40 individuals. Herds usually contain one adult bull and several cows and juveniles. Other bulls may form bachelor herds, or if advanced in age, become solitary. A hierarchy is established in all herds, with a dominant bull at the top and size determining the order thereafter. Ritualized aggressive behavior is used by both sexes to maintain the dominance hierarchy. Aggressive behavior is characterized by broadside charges and movement of the head horizontally and vertically. Now it's time to find out who would win a fight between Cape Buffalo and Indian Gower. So if you take the biggest of both species, the Gower has the weight and size advantage. However, the buffalo tends to be more aggressive. This aggression is a good compensation for their smaller size. Cape buffaloes have been seen attacking even rhinos and elephants, and are very dangerous prey for lions, as they will generally protect one another and team up against a single predator. The buffaloes generally live in large herds, while gowers prefer smaller herds. In my opinion, if the animals weigh the same, the buffalo would win because of its aggressiveness and because it has a thicker neck compared to the Indian bison. Let's not forget that the Indian bison is a domesticated animal compared to the Cape buffalo. If we are talking about the largest specimens of each species, the difference in weight will be 1,400 pounds, 635 kilograms, which would mean too much for the buffalo. The power of the Indian gaur will be far too much for his opponent. I tend to choose the gaur in this fight. What is your opinion? Write them in the comments. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button.